Celebrity Selling NFTs on eBay NFT Market Update NFT project called Trip and Ape Tribe was recently released on the Solana blockchain to see how they are performing on the secondary market, and it will then provide some further updates on the incident that occurred last weekend where people's Twitter accounts were hacked because we certainly have some updates surrounding how much money was stolen from the users. And of course, we'll provide you with a market update and analysis on how things are performing in the NFT market. So welcome to the NFT guy. And today we'll talk about the very big NFT market update where we'll talk about whether or not celebrities are ruining NFTs by selling them on eBay. And that's very big news. So we can't wait to tell you the whole story about it. Without wasting any time, let's just get right into the video. The first non-fungible tokens offered on eBay will be digital artifacts commemorating the legendary ice hockey player Wayne Gretzky. Many people believe that Wayne Gretzky, who is now 61 years old and played 20 seasons in the National Hockey League over three decades and won four Stanley Cups, was the best player in the history of sports. The Gretzky NFTs are one-of-a-kind blockchain tokens that denote ownership. They were produced as a result of a collaboration between Sports Illustrated and the NFT platform OneOf. These coins may be found on the Ethereum sidechain Polygon. There are 13 distinct sorts of NFTs, each with a different tier that ranges in price from $10 to $1,500. Each of these NFTs is a 3D recreation of a younger Wayne Gretzky and a variety of action figure-like stances. A few of the NFTs has a digital version of Gretzky's signature. Gretzky said in a statement, 40 years ago, I was happy to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. It was a major event in my life. Gretzky made this comment about the fact that he was featured on the magazine's cover in 1978. It is an honor to be able to provide my hockey fans, many of whom have been following my career for decades, this collectible experience. However, one of has already been under fire for deploying the NFTs on the Polygon blockchain rather than the Tezos blockchain as it would normally do. One of COO Joshua James told Decrypt via email that the company believes that the future is multi-chain. And as a result, we decided to go with Polygon on the initial Sports Illustrated drop to build a bigger tent and bring new users into the One of ecosystem. Polygon is a decentralized marketplace that allows users to buy and sell digital assets. We are going to use Polygon for all their drops to maintain consistency throughout the SI collection. As seen by all of our previous recent drops, we continue to be major proponents of the Tezos blockchain platform. After the success of the Gretzky release, eBay said that it will continue to push into NFTs later this year with the digital reinterpretations of a variety of Sports Illustrated covers. From NBA Top Shot to Tom Brady's autograph, several companies in the sports world were early users of cryptocurrencies and non-traditional currencies like NFTs. However, it does not look as though the industry is losing interest in the cryptocurrency sector, despite the current reaction and the decline in prices. Tyler grabbed at the investing opportunity when Floyd Mayweather started praising an obscure NFT project on Twitter this year. Mayweather, a boxing legend, had already been Tyler's biggest motivation in his martial arts training. Tyler, on the other hand, was seeking financial possibilities and thought Mayweather, who goes by the nickname Money May, was worth listening to. What I need everyone to do right now is go grab a bored bunny NFT, Mayweather stated, clad in a Louis Vuitton vest with a diamond bracelet, necklace, and gold watch. You're hearing it from the one and only Floyd, make that money, Mayweather. Tyler, age 35, a property manager whose family owns a small trucking company in Miami, said he saved up around $12,000 with the support of his mother and used it to purchase non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, digital tokens that represent ownership of digital photos. In this example, the project was a series of photographs of bunnies that were similar to the iconic Bored Ape Yacht Club images that fueled a surge in NFT art projects. Those NFTs are now worth significantly less than Tyler paid for them. This financially wrecked me, said Tyler, who requested to be identified only by his first name because he's afraid of internet trolls who mock poor NFT investors. Tyler said he is now struggling to pay for petrol for his car and groceries. He believes Mayweather and the other promoters took their bonuses and went on while those who scraped by to invest in their futures were scammed. The Board Bunny team claimed in its marketing materials that customers could make two times, five times, or maybe even ten times the value of their investment. But the value of the NFTs tied to the photographs plummeted after a brief rise and has yet to recover. 
The floor price of a Bored Bunny NFT is now 0.05 Ethereum, down from the mint price of 0.4 Ethereum. It's a pattern that crypto skeptics, watchdogs, and even some influencers see as a continuous issue. Digital ventures riding a wave of NFT enthusiasm and supported by high-profile endorsements that swiftly lose value. In other circumstances, in the crypto industry, it's referred to as a rug pull. However, ad transparency experts warn that prominent personalities are frequently pushing NFTs without conducting the due investigation or informing their audience about the potential financial hazards. The proprietors of Board Bunny, who declined to give their true identities, denied any wrongdoing. Mayweather spokesman declined to respond. Hundreds of celebrities and influencers have jumped at the chance to promote NFTs to their audiences. Many of them do not disclose that they were paid to do so and do not acknowledge the substantial financial dangers involved, according to Bonnie Patton, executive director of the consumer advocacy group Truth in Advertising. The messaging from these celebs is like the 21st century version of Let Them Eat Cake, Patton added. She cautioned that combining the extremely unpredictable NFT economy with the wild west of influencer marketing is a guaranteed formula for disaster. It has the potential to financially devastate vulnerable individuals who look up to them. The multi-billion dollar influencer marketing sector has long been famously greedy, with internet stars advising their followers to buy potentially harmful weight loss goods to snake oil health or treatments. However, the frenetic hawking of NFTs has upped the stakes to such an extreme that, instead of effective regulation, influencers and certain celebrities have begun calling out one another's conduct. FaZe Clan founder Richard Binkston, often known as FaZe Banks, released images of claimed chats from the Board Bunny team promising him $500,000 to $750,000 to post about their NFTs. He said he didn't make this error because he took the time to educate himself. FaZe Clan did not respond to calls for comment. Board Bunny refuses to reveal how much it paid its commercial partners, citing a confidentiality agreement. In written direct messages, Board Bunny stated that the company is actively working on making this product amazing, but that it is not responsible for investors not selling at the best moment. It stated that its staff has received death threats from unhappy Board Bunny customers, prompting it to cut off connection with the community, and that it is devising efforts to expand the project to the best of our abilities. Other influential individuals, such as the businessman Gary V. Vaynerchuk, have especially drawn attention to the pattern of public people advocating NFTs while having little grasp of how they function or the hazards that buyers face. Beeple's Twitter account was hacked today in a phishing attempt that took $70,000 in Ethereum. According to the NFT artist and others on Twitter, Beeple's account momentarily tweeted a phishing link that would steal users' Bitcoin. The tweet linked to a fake Louis Vuitton raffle website. Denley said when users clicked on the link, they lost one Ethereum. Ethereum is the blockchain on which most NFTs are based. One Ethereum was valued at almost $2,000 at press time. Denley noted that over $50,000 in Ethereum was taken and that unscrupulous actors continue to utilize Beeple's Twitter account for a more advanced fraud. When Decrypt last checked, the address had lost $72,165.60. These Twitter frauds are popular in crypto. In March, phishing scammers stole $1 million in a bogus 8-coin airdrop from confirmed accounts. Mike Winkleman, as Beeple, popularized NFTs. Last year, he sold an NFT artwork for $69.3 million at Christie's. Beeple later tweeted that his account was restored to normal and we have control now. This video is intended to provide general information only and is not intended to provide specific financial or investment advice or recommendations for any individual or investment product. The purpose of this video is to provide general information and opinions about NFTs. I hope you get the gist of what's going on. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and found it informative and subscribe to the channel for more. And if you have any questions or queries on your mind, tell me in the comment box and also check out our channel where you'll find more really cool stuff. Until then, we'll see you soon.